What's up everybody? Uh, today I'm making a quick tutorial on how to make a mod for literally any Unity game you can think of. Uh, but just a quick heads up, uh, this tutorial is for beginners, but it is recommended you know uh, the basics of the C-sharp programming language as well as uh, the Unity engine. Uh, you're gonna need some things, first of all. So, first thing you'll need is Melon Loader, right? So I'll show you how to download that. So you gotta click Get Started. Uh, you're gonna have to click right here, Automated Installation, Download MelonLoader.Installer.exe. You gotta click that. Put that to load, and you can install it anywhere you want. So I'll just put it in my Downloads folder, right here. I'll take this, so I'm just gonna replace it. And wait for it to download. And then just open it up, and you'll see this right here. So now what you got to do is you need to find your Unity game. So if your Unity game is on Steam, then you'll go to Steam, find whatever game you want to mod, click the settings, click manage, and click browse local files. And that's where you get your game directory. But that's not the one I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do my game that I use for testing and stuff. So I'll go here, I'll go to my Unity games and i'll go to this game and this will be a game so you have to click on the exe file and that's how you're going to install uh, melon loader so once you do that so all you have to do is just click latest here and then auto direct or auto detect sorry uh and then just click install so you just got to wait a little bit for this to be done downloading all right success and now we will just go to our game directory and just make sure that it's set up correctly so right here and look so now you have a bunch of files. You have mods and melon loader um, and plugins, right? And user data. So you just have everything you need to mod your game. So now there's some other stuff you have to install. First, you have to install Visual Studio. Uh, there's tutorials that I'll link in the description on how to install this because I'm not going to go over it because it's kind of complicated. But all you have to do is just install Visual Studio as well as the .NET framework. And I'll just make it so that it's possible to add your code to your game so now let's just get started with the actual modding so you want to go to this website melonwiki.xyz then the quick start tutorial and this is just where we get some of our um some of our code from just to set it up so what i'm going to do now is go to visual studio all right and then we're going to click create a new project uh wait till this loads so now you have to look for class library. So this one right here, you don't want to use this one. All right, so you're gonna have to look up class library up here, and you need to look for the .NET framework version. So you don't want this one; you want this one, okay? Or else it won't work. So it installs with a DLL file. You gotta click next, and then it'll say project name. So you put whatever your project is. So I'll just do test mod for tutorial. Why not? And then I'll change the directory to just any directory you want, right? You want the, for the framework, you want to put it to the latest one, so 4.7.2, and then click Create. So let's wait for this to load. All right, so now it's loaded up. And now there's one thing we need to do before we do anything else is go to our references. So you'll find it right under your uh, solution here and go to References here. Right click on it and click Add a Reference, all right? So now I have a bunch of stuff here. You won't have this stuff, but um, I'll show you how to get this. So you have to click Browse and go to your game file. So I'll go here. I'll go Unity Games, Grapply. Here we go. So you got to go first to Melon Loader, the Melon Loader folder. Um, then you got to click on MelonLoader.dll, and boom, that'll add that reference. Click Browse again. Uh, now go back to your game files and go to uh, the data file and go to Managed. So now you have all your DLLs here. So I'll tell you which ones you need. First, you need the unityengine.dll. Then it'll be back here. You got to look for Unity Engine um, core module. So that's right here. Then the Unity Engine input module, input legacy module. That's the one you need. Um, that's actually all you need right here is the core module, input legacy module, you need, uh, just unityengine.dll and Melon Loader. That's all you need. So now you gotta click OK. And you'll see these references here. You'll see the three Unity engines and the Melon Loader reference. Uh, now we can actually get started. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our class right here. And we are going to rename our class to just test mod class. 
uh, for tutor. No. It's a bit of a long name, but it's fine. So now this little window will pop up and you have to click yes on here. So then it changes this, your class right here. Um, and once you do that, then you change the class. And now what you need to do is go to properties right here and click assembly info. And now you see this screen. It may seem complicated. We don't really have to worry about it. Uh, but what you have to do is go back to the website that I linked in the description and you'll see this right here. So you need to control C and control V on this to put it here. And now you got to fill out all this stuff. All right. So the first thing you need to fill out is your mod name. So I'll just make my mod name test mod for tutorial, uh, the version. So it has to be three numbers separated by period. So 1.0.0. 2.0.0 or 1.2.0, anything you want here, but it has to be in this format. And then the author name, you can put anything you want, but I'll put Hazy, because that's me. Uh, and now down here, you have to put the game you're making it for. So the game studio, I'll just put Hazy's Games. Oh, that's not right. Hazy's Games, because that's whatever, just I made the game. And then I'll put the game name as Grapply. But this is whatever game you are modding all right so now up here it'll say type of uh my mod and you have to change that because uh, it'll have an error you have to change it to whatever your class is so i'll put it to test mod class for tutorial right here so it'll still say an error but what you need to do at the top is put using test mod for tutorial and then it'll stop the area. So you have to put whatever your solution name is at the top. Uh, so now that's done, you can click Control S to save it. And then now you go to your class and you can put anything you want here. So first you're gonna add some uh, using things at the top. So I'll put using Unity Engine and using Melon Loader. So then now we've done that, you have to go to your class here, press space, put in a colon and then put melon mod so that'll just make it a melon loader mod so now you go to your class and you can put anything you want so if you go to this website once again you'll see all the different methods uh you can use so we'll just use the um on update function so or method so if you go down here you'll see this, this is just a tutorial so you can copy this but public override void on update we'll use the on update uh, method so we'll put that in here we'll put your curly brackets and then you can put anything you want any code so uh, i'll just put if input dot get key down uh key code f how about that so every time we press the f key in game it'll do something so once we have that um we can just put anything in here so let's think of something i could do how about we should close the game if we press the f key because why not that's the most simple thing we could do so we'll do application dot quit and then that's it so you can put anything you want here you can make anything any sort of mod you want any code you want to add onto the game you can put anything uh, so it doesn't have to be this simple you can add multiple classes you can add multiple methods you can add a bunch of stuff and it can be anything you want um so now that we're here now once you're ready to build your game so you're going to go to build up here and click build solutions and I build your game, build your mod. Um, and so once you've done that, you just got to wait for it to build down here. Make sure you have no errors. And then I should say one succeeded, zero failed. All right. So now you go to whatever directory you installed or you built your mod. So it'll say down here. So one power simulator mods, even though this isn't our simulator game. So Go here, whatever directory, here, and then you'll see um, test mod for tutorial or whatever you name your project. So now once you're here, there's a lot of stuff here, but what you gotta do is go to dot, or not dot, you just gotta go to obj, debug, and you'll see right here, test mod for tutorial or whatever you named it to, dot dll. You have to look for that dll file. Uh, so once you've done that, uh, you go to whatever game folder you have, and where it says mods, click on that and move your mod straight over to it or actually just copy it because you might have to work on this later if you have any bugs or errors all right so all you have to do here is launch your game and you see you get this cool console here and it shows the mods you have installed down there i can't check it now because it freezes the game if you like tab into it it's really strange 
but uh, all you have to do now, I can just click play, and I'm in, it works, and then now if I click the F key on my keyboard because of our code, it closes the game. And you can add literally anything you want there. Maybe it makes the player jump, or it makes the gravity super low, or it changes the time of the game and makes it sped up. All right? You can do a whole bunch of things, and it's really, really cool. So I hope this helped uh, with your modding journey. And I hope you make some cool mods with this.